is a great player. Hansi Cronier coming back into form. Clues now, well, he'll be floating up and down that batting order. We could see him sooner rather than later. And then the middle order, which has been a little suspect. Boyer's bowled well so far. Pollock, a good bowler. Boucher, very effective, both behind the stumps and with the bat. And Elworthy getting another shot. And the batsman, the batsman that they all love so much. Sachin Tendulkar. Out onto the ground with... India's new captain, Saurabh Ganguly. The crowd here and everyone across India will be hoping that they see the best of Sachin Tendulkar. Spare a thought for him. Captain of the side. They lost uh, both test matches. And uh, Ganguly takes over. And all of a sudden, the fortunes of this Indian side change. And so, Saurabh Ganguly, 27 years of age, a century in the last match, and raring to go, no doubt, in this one. And the umpires for today's game. Kashyapan, BTR Kashyapan is the umpire. And Vijay Chopra is the other umpire. Sean Pollock about to bowl the first ball of this third match in the Pepsi Cup. Play. So Pollock on his way. Raw goes up in Faridabad. Again. Oh, good delivery. That one looked as if it just swung in a little bit and then moved away off the pitch. What a ball. Well, this is good to see some lateral movement for a change. Must have pitched on one of those clumps of grass that we have here on this pitch. There is no doubt that this pitch will be two paced. Yes, I think um, <laughs> they're off the mark. He would have thought he'd scored another 100. Oh, beautifully bowled. He beats the outside edge. A little bit of bounce there for him. Well, this man won't overreact to the situation. He knows that it's not an ideal batting wicket. Again, the ball taking off. But he won't show his discomfort or the uncertainty. That one just nipped back a little bit. Long way forward. Just watch uh, where this one pitches, just outside the line. He, he gets a long way across, but the ball nipping back a long way as well. And what's more, bouncing a bit, so... Well, that's an outstanding start. Beautiful first over from Sean Pollock. It's one for none. Steve Elworthy down at the other end. Straight to backward point. That area is always peppered. Good shot, straight down the ground, and well fielded too. Beautifully done. Boye getting across there really quickly. He's turning out to be a really useful cricketer. Useful with a bat, bowled well so far, and uh, that was a really good stop. As the batsman would prefer to be on this end. The bounce more certain, and not too much of a lateral movement, at least in the first few balls that we've seen. Elworthy. Nicky Boye. Very good at mid-off. Sachin's off the mark. Quick single. The field just a little deep on the offside. And that's the end of the second over. Pollock. Oh, and a big appeal there, certainly from Pollock. Boucher was way down the leg side. And Pollock was hoping that uh, that went straightened down the line. And perhaps it didn't straighten enough. Yeah, this looked like it was always missing legs down didn't hold its line as much as the bowler would have liked one leg by to Tendulkar Ganguly will take strike now steered away through gully I so just wonder whether it wouldn't be worthwhile we'll have to look back a little bit Tendulkar adjusted his shot he's got it through the infield I think that's a very good shot played by Sachin Tendulkar. The ball isn't going to bounce high enough. Decided to play the shot. Just watch him. And a bit of a slip on his way to a single, but really watch that ball closely. Oh, he's got that one away fine. Just watch this. As he goes up, he gets on the toe there, and then it slips backwards. Very quickly... Uh, caught himself and he was away mm. 
Wanted one, Ganguly, no set, Tendulka. It's eight for none. Pollock, sure, so is Elworthy. No bounce at all on that occasion. It was pitched in short. Then tries and came a little too slowly as well to Sachin Tendulkar. Yeah, this was a short delivery and the bounce not really as much as Tendulkar would have expected. Nasty strike straight down the ground. Doesn't he love hitting them to uh, mid on? And the South Africans have got their mid on quite straight. It's an area that uh, Sachin Tendulkar loves. He takes it from just outside off stump and smashes it like that down the ground. They've got their mid on quite straight. So that one was cut off. In the air and down to square leg. That's the first boundary of the game. Listen to the crowd. They've come here hoping to see Sachin Tendulkar. It may just be one of those days. Eight for none. It's been a disappointing line that the South Africans have bowled to Tendulkar. They've been too close to his legs. Just got to get outside the off stump. Again, this is an easy pick for a batsman like Sachin Tendulkar. Through the, oh, and just short of him. That's the area. That's the area I think they can get him in. He loves hitting the ball through that area. Does hit some boundaries there, but I reckon they won Fieldsman short. That almost carried. This is not a bad line on a pitch like this. He's very strong in this area, but there's always a chance of picking Ganguly with this shot when the bounce is not certain. Just falling short of Herschel Gibbs on that occasion. Oh, good shot. Good shot. Well, that bat seems pretty good to me. You probably find that it wouldn't have made any difference what bat he was using. Hit it in the middle of the bat and uh, you hit it into the gap. It goes for four. Sarav Ganguly. This little run of his uh, as captain of India is uh, continuing to blossom. Well, if it's superstition, it's worked for Saurav Ganguly. Change of bats and a glorious drive. The ball was pitched right up. No feet movement. But a great follow through of the bat. Just behind square. So 12 bats in a coffin. Oh, what a good shot. Beautifully driven through the offside. He's murdered that one. That was right into the slot, mind you. If you were going to say to a bowler, this is where you mustn't bowl to Ganguly, that's exactly the spot. Well, the length wasn't good. It's a pitch that we've been talking about, which has a bit of uncertainty in the pace and bounce. You've got to let that pitch do something for you. At the moment, they're trying to find something in the air, some movement in the air, but they've just got to shorten their length. Let the pitch do something. They're just to full at the moment to Ganguly. I think that's an indication to keep the same batting order. Oh, he doesn't know. Oh, there we are. That's one of his weaknesses. That's the one that bowlers all around the world want to dish out to him wherever possible. Not easy in one-day cricket, but uh, you have a look at this shot. He's blitzed one through the offside field. As soon as they get it short, he's, uh, well, all over the place. And that went to that gully position we were talking about. They've got to bowl to their strength, the South Africans. This is their strength. This is what they're used to doing, hitting the deck. Right. Great shot, great shot, in the slot again, and, uh, well, not very clever bowling. 14 off the over, and all of a sudden India, 30 for none. Wants one, no, says Ganguly, back goes Tendulkar, quite right. And uh, I think he probably got, uh, well, even doing too much or just outside the line. Very confident appeal there from uh, Sean Pollock. White gully. No. Over the top. That will be four. Will it be six? Oh, I think it's over. I think it may be just over. No, the umpire signalling four. I think, uh, I think there might be some question about that. It might have been inches over the rope. Well, what a shot. Elworthy is getting smashed he's bowling it into the slot I'm afraid and up goes the uh, umpire's arm six signaled just carrying 
does play the shot well, sort of Ganguly to medium pace. He doesn't play it often enough. When he steps out, he normally hits the ball a long distance, just outside the boundary rope. And oh. again, beautifully played, into the fence for four, Ganguly. The Bengali Prince. Boy, is he enjoying this. He's taken to the captaincy like a duck to water. Well, the length again defies logic. He's just got to hit the deck to Ganguly. He had him in trouble when he did that once. But ever since that, again, he's tried to pitch the ball up, get it to swing and see him. He should be really giving a lot more shoulder into that one. Just keep it short to Ganguly. Now completely on the defensive. If you feel adjustments being made, Herschel Gibbs is being called inside. Oh, and there's another one in the air. Oh, two balls they bowled to him short, and twice he's had absolutely no idea. And that's what the bowler's got to do. When you have a batsman stepping out and driving you through the covers, you've got to give some kind of a reply. Just to show that you've got a hard cricket ball in your hand, it's always a good idea time and again. To just get the batsman on the back foot. Played horribly on both occasions, Ganguly, with the short pitcher. बहुत अच्छी बैटिंग की है गांगुली ने खास तौर से स्क्वायर ऑफ द विकेट बहुत अच्छे स्ट्रोक्स खेले हैं और बहुत अच्छी बैटिंग हो रही है यहाँ पर सचिन तेंदुलकर बहुत ही सेंसिबली खेल रहे हैं सिंगल लेके सौरव गांगुली को ज्यादा बैटिंग दे रहे हैं क्योंकि सौरव गांगुली काफी आक्रामक मूड में लेकिन अभी तक कोई दबाव नहीं बैट्समैन के ऊपर खास करके सौरव गांगुली के ऊपर बहुत ही अच्छे अंदाज में तीस गज के दायरे के ऊपर से यह खेला था चार रन के लिए और ऑफ साइड पर तो बहुत ही अच्छी टाइमिंग करते हैं सौरभ गांगुली थोड़ा सा लेग स्टम के बाहर मूव होकर जगह बना रहे हैं ये स्ट्रोक खेलने के लिए बहुत इफेक्टिव इस समय सौरभ गांगुली लेग स्टम के ऊपर ये धीमा गेंद था और हल्के हाथों से खेला अच्छी रनिंग बिटवीन द विकेट स्कोर बॉल थी और इसी के साथ भारत के 50 रन भी पूरे 8.5 दशमलव पांच बॉलों पर टाइमिंग तभी अच्छी हो सकती है कि अगर हवा में ही देख लिया जाए कि किस गति के साथ गेंद आ रहा है अच्छी टाइमिंग की थी लेकिन उतनी अच्छी फील्डिंग नहीं थी वहां पर एलवर्दी की और सबसे अच्छी बात यह है कि अभी तक बहुत ही अच्छे तालमेल के साथ रनिंग बिटवीन द विकेट्स दोनों ही बैट्समैन ने बहुत अच्छी की है और इस बार स्टेप आउट करके उसे खेल दिया हवा में बहुत अच्छा शॉट बहुत अच्छी टाइमिंग मनिंदर मुझे सबसे बड़ी हैरानगी ये हो रही है कि अच्छे तेज गति के गेंदबाज हैं हंसी क्रोनिया के पास किसी ने भी खास करके सौरभ को शॉट गेंद करने की कोशिश नहीं की है दो बार सिर्फ एलवर्दी ने कोशिश की थी और दोनों बा, बाल बाल बचे थे तो जैसे ही गेंद आगे गिरती है बहुत ही अच्छा खेलते हैं सौरभ गांगुली खूबसूरत स्ट्रोक बहुत अच्छी टाइमिंग सौरभ गांगुली की बैटिंग की अच्छी बात यह रही है कि ज्यादा तेज मारने की उन्होंने कोशिश नहीं की लेकिन टाइमिंग पर ज्यादा विश्वास रखा है हाफ वॉली गिरे या गुड लेंथ स्पॉट पर गेंद गिरे तो जवाब सौरभ गांगुली के बल्ले से ऐसे ही निकलेगा जिस तरह से ये अभी चार रन प्राप्त किए हैं थोड़ा सा रूप बनाया था बल्ले के बीचों बीच ये चार रन प्राप्त किए सौरभ गांगुली ने बहुत ही बेहतरीन बैटिंग सौरभ गांगुली द्वारा लगभग पच्चीस हजार लेग बाय का इशारा एम्पायर विजय चोपड़ा का अभी तक काफी अच्छी अंपायरिंग की है विजय चोपड़ा ने फिर से रूम बनाया बॉल हवा में लेकिन निकी बॉय से थोड़ा सा दूर रह गया एक अच्छी सूझबूझ दिखाई थी शॉन पॉलक ने वो देख लिया था सौरभ गांगुली ने थोड़ा थोड़ा सा रूम बनाया है खेलने के लिए और शॉर्ट गेंद कर दिया था लेकिन भाग्य सौरभ गांगुली के साथ की गेंद बल्ले का किनारा लेकर थर्ड मैन पर निकी बोय के पास नहीं गई जोर 
बेकार अपील और आउट ज्यादा पैर नहीं निकाला था सचिन तेंदुलकर ने अंदर की तरफ ये बॉल आई थी कोई शंका नहीं थी अंपायर विजय चोपड़ा के मन में जिस विकेट की तलाश थी साउथ अफ्रीका को वो ब्रेक थ्रू दिलाया शॉन पॉलक ने काफी तेजी के साथ गेंद अंदर की तरफ आई थी और काफी आगे आकर भी खेला था अंपायर विजय चोपड़ा के नजरिए से गेंद स्टम्प पर लगती और एलबीडब्ल्यू करार दिए गए सचिन तेंदुलकर भारत एक सौ पर एक राहुल ड्राविड आए हैं सचिन तेंदुलकर के आउट होने पर एक सौ त्रेपन का उनका हाईएस्ट स्कोर वनडे क्रिकेट में सैंतीस की एवरेज अरे अच्छी मूव क्योंकि अच्छी शुरुआत मिल गई है भारत को इसलिए जैसे पिछले मैचेस में देखा था सुनील जोशी को एज अ पिंच हिटर भेजा था लेकिन इतनी अच्छी शुरुआत के बाद पिंच हिटर की जरूरत नहीं सचिन तेंदुलकर का अभी तक अच्छा ओवर पॉलक का बहुत महत्वपूर्ण विकेट मिला शॉन पॉलक को 11 ओवर के बाद भारत इकसठ एक विकेट और अभी तक इस सीरीज में भी अच्छा स्ट्रोक इस बार ऑन साइड के ऊपर पहला रन काफी तेज भागा था बहुत अच्छी फील्डिंग निकी बोए की अच्छी फील्डिंग निकी बोए की क्योंकि दो रन हो सकते थे तैयार थे सौरभ गांगुली अच्छा स्ट्रोक नेक्स्ट के ऊपर एक बॉल था राहुल ड्राविड बहुत ही स्ट्रांग है ऑन साइड के ऊपर बहुत अच्छी रनिंग बिटवीन द विकेट तीन रन बहुत अच्छी बात की राहुल ड्राविड ने उनको मालूम था कि वो नॉन स्ट्राइक रन पर आएंगे भागकर तीसरे रन के लिए तो तेजी के साथ पहला रन भागे थे इसीलिए तीन रन लेने में कामयाब हुए सौरभ गांगुली और राहुल ड्राविड बहुत ही अच्छी रनिंग बिटवीन द विकेट हुई जैसे ही देखा तीसरे रन पर कि मिस फील्ड हुई है तो तीसरा रन भी प्राप्त किया स्लोअर बॉल था लेकिन बहुत सेंसिबल बैटिंग एक रन बारहवा ओवर समाप्त पांच रन आए इस ओवर से छियासठ पर एक भारत आउट होने पर आए हैं तीन रन बनाकर बैटिंग कर रहे हैं इस बार शॉन पॉलक को चार्ज किया था एग्रेशन देखने को मिली शॉन पॉलक की भी शायद ये लगा था शॉन पॉलक को कि बाहर निकलकर खेले थे सौरभ गांगुली तो अगर बॉल उनके हाथ में सीधी होती तो शायद वो रनआउट करने की कोशिश करते तो किसी भी तेज बॉलर को ये पसंद नहीं कि उन्हें स्टेप आउट करके खेला जाए लोअर बॉल था और उसे धीरे से खेला मिड ऑफ की तरफ खेलते ही रन भाग लिया था सौरभ गांगुली ने अच्छी रनिंग बिटवीन द विकेट लेकिन देखा जाए तो शॉन पॉलक ने अभी तक बहुत ही अच्छी गेंदबाजी की है दक्षिण अफ्रीका के लिए तो ज्यादा रन नहीं दिए हैं अपनी बॉलिंग उसे फाइनल की तरफ लेकिन निकी बोए से कोई चांस नहीं लेंगे ये दोनों बैट्समैन ओवर से तीन रन उनहत्तर पर एक अच्छी बॉल थी कट करना चाहते थे लेकिन शरीर के काफी पास लेकिन आखिरी समय पर अच्छी एडजस्टमेंट राहुल ड्राविड की थोड़ा सा ग्लव्स पर भी लग कर गई बहुत करीब था ये शॉट खेलने के लिए हवा में खेला हुआ स्ट्रोक लेकिन थर्ड मैन तक कैरी नहीं करेगा भारत को एक अच्छी शुरुआत मिल चुकी है मात्र एक विकेट गिरा है सचिन तेंदुलकर के रूप में एक अच्छी बैटिंग लाइनअप है भारत के पास इस बार रूम मिला था बहुत जबरदस्त लगा हुआ स्ट्रोक लेकिन बहुत अच्छी फील्डिंग काफी तेज आउटफील्ड है यहां पर नहर सिंह स्टेडियम में
दक्षिण अफ्रीका के खिलाड़ी अच्छे जाने जाते हैं फील्डिंग में और ये गली में इशारा करते हुए नो बॉल का इशारा हवा में खेला हुआ स्ट्रोक चार रन और अब गांगुली के लिए और इसी के साथ उनके 50 रन भी पूरे और अभी तक कोई जवाब नहीं दक्षिण अफ्रीका के पास जिस तरह की बैटिंग की है सौरभ गांगुली ने पिछले मैच में जमशेदपुर में शतक लगाया था बहुत ही शानदार शतक और यहां पर अभी भी क्रीज पर हैं ये चार रन प्राप्त करके अपना अर्ध शतक प्राप्त किया बहुत ही बेहतरीन पारी अभी तक भारत के लिए सौरभ गांगुली द्वारा बहुत ही पॉजिटिव क्रिकेट खेली है सौरभ गांगुली ने और पूरा फायदा उठाया है जो रिस्ट्रिक्शन रहती है पहले पंद्रह ओवर में Oh, well, that's well done. Oh, there's a mix-up here. However, the ball just bouncing away from it on a little bit too far. Get a single, drop it. That's because of the bumpy patches. See that spun on him, kept a little low. And there are patches uh, close to the boundary line. Around the outfield. Oh, and up they go. I think that might be uh, well. The umpire for a second. I thought he was putting his finger up. And uh, yes, he's given him out. He's given him out. And I, I must say that my first reaction was uh, that's out. It took a long time for Ganguly to go. He stood there and said, uh, almost said, uh, "I beg your pardon." Or uh, what was the decision? Let's have another look. Again, a good line, good line here, bowled by Alwardi. He's bowling into the rib cage of Ganguly, and I just get the feeling he might have got some glove here. Just kissing the bat, in fact, and the glove. The thigh pad nowhere near it, so there was a deflection. And I think the umpires made the right decision here. Ganguly isn't happy. He goes for 56, and South Africa. Pulling things back here, 80 for two. So Mohammad Azraddin, the new batsman. So Elwardi pulling things back for South Africa here by picking up a wicket. He got some hammer from Ganguly early on in his first spell. That's out. Oh, that looked ever so so close. That one was there some bat in that. Now then, that's a good fast delivery. It hit him on the full, I think. May have been some bat. It's good delivery, but I just think that the umpire thinking that it would have best leg stump. But a good surprise delivery from Callis. And uh, let's take a look at the bat as well. It's a big angle coming in. You can see middle and off. That would have missed leg stump. Good decision by the umpire. So when the ball makes contact with the pad, you can see the middle stump and the off stump. Oh, that's well played. Beautiful use of the wrist and knocked into the gap. Desperate fielding down there by the South Africans. The ball bobbing around all over the place. That's uh, Nicky Boye. 